There are four types of hypersensitivity reactions. Type 1 is IgE mediated and occurs very quickly after exposure. It is associated with allergens such as bee stings, peanuts, latex, and certain medications. This can lead to a life-threatening condition called anaphylaxis. Type 2 hypersensitivity reactions are cytotoxic or antibody mediated. Some examples in this category include hemolytic reactions, good pasture syndrome, and hyperacute graft rejection. Type 3 is known as immune complex, IgG or IgM mediated, and includes certain diagnoses like hypersensitivity pneumonitis, systemic lupus erythematosus, polyarteritis nodosa, and serum sickness. Type 4 is known as delayed or cell mediated hypersensitivity. Examples include chronic graft rejections, purified protein derivative or PPD, or exposure to latex, nickel, or poison ivy. A quick mnemonic to remember the four types of hypersensitivity reactions is ACID. The A stands for allergic as in type 1, cytotoxic for type 2, immune complex deposition for type 3, and delayed for type 4. Let's go over the answer choices. Choice A. Patient with infectious mononucleosis has IgM cold agglutinin antibodies and hemolytic reaction is an example of a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Choice B. Patient with extreme itching due to poison ivy is a cell mediated or type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Choice C. Latex allergy can be a type 1 or type 4 hypersensitivity reaction which makes it the correct answer here. Choice D. Arthritis in which anti-CCP antibodies are the most specific test is describing rheumatoid arthritis. These patients will have immune complex or type 3 hypersensitivity. And choice E. Allergic rhinitis is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction.